This video is made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. want to highlight today, we're going to discuss buffs and nerfs to a few weapons, specifically the charge rifle and the triple take. In the second part of the video, we're going to cover the triple take. At the very start here, one of the biggest changes to the charge rifle is you notice that the charge rifle, instead of taking eight bullets, now has been reduced to six, kind of stopping some of the stopping power that you had before. Doesn't mean that it isn't a scary weapon overall, especially when you're blasting somebody. Keep in mind that what you're seeing there is that the target dummies don't have helmets. It's very important to really highlight just to ensure you don't forget that because you are seeing a big spike of damage so now you really have to land your shots with the charge rifle making it less impactful because you're gonna have to reload quite often meaning that the stock is gonna be even more essential to your reload because the reload speed on this is not very forgiving now let's talk about the triple take and some of the changes they'd introduced with that gun as well in fact the triple take has been buffed what's very interesting you see on the bottom right corner that my amount of bullets I take from the triple take has been reduced dramatically in terms of energy and Ammo. that yes what you're looking at is correct is every bullet so you got a total of 10 bullets here look that are, it essentially eats way less damage than it was before the triple take is definitely has a lot more power to it because of that because of the resource utility that it brings to the table I just really want to highlight this make sure that you don't sleep on the triple take because now it definitely doesn't eat as much damage and you can definitely rock it with the nemesis and not be as worried about your ammo count because it's only gonna take just a few bullets from your inventory just a small minor change that you probably have seen here that Mirage has been moved from the skirmisher class to definitely a more useful class such as the support class. What makes this very interesting for Mirage is now Mirage is more of a team player because he can grab the banners for his teammates and also craft them. So it's very important that your Mirage can definitely get out of a fight as well as secretly revive you. And let's say in case you get down from the, the sky if somebody shoots you at a distance, you can at least hide because of the passive hiding while you get respawn. Of course, also gets cloaked while at the respawn beacon. So this definitely makes a lot more sense for Mirage and hopefully out there that you enjoy that the, the fact that Mirage, hopefully you enjoy the fact that Mirage is more a part of the support class. The RE45 has returned to ground loot, and you can also see that hammer points do come along with it. So be sure to check it out, and be sure to find those hammer points, because the damage of the RE45 is definitely something not to be trifled with. This does 12 to the body, and as well as 17 to the head. If you add the hammer points onto it, then it does 12 to the body, as well as 17 to the head. But 15 to the body, gotta remember to go that the armor has to be cracked with hammer points, and then 22 to the head. So friendly reminder, be sure to grab this thing, it definitely has a bang for its buck. Another quick change, the R99 has been nerfed. The bullet size per mag has been reduced by one. Interesting change to the support class as well. Now we talked about Mirage already moving, but now it doesn't matter who is in your squad that is support. If you have one support legend, everyone can craft a support banner, which makes it very interesting. It might make it even more mandatory just to have it. So then you maybe don't have to stack all support legends, but having one is more than enough. Very positive and very interesting change. The 3030 as well as the triple take bullet size whenever it's charged has been buffed. The 3030 across the board bullet size is just larger. So just a quick tip, a reminder, especially when you're trying to land shots at range, or I guess even close range, because technically it should be a little easier to do. Quote unquote. This change is going to require a little more testing in live. But essentially what the patch notes were claiming is that you'll no longer be able to see diamonds or any scans through the wall. This is kind of how I expected Catalyst to work to begin with, so it's going to be very interesting to see how this changes up the meta on, well, Apex Legends. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this change. Another adjustment with Ash, the tactical ability when you're moving around is now a running speed. You'll notice here on the current live environment, well, I guess if you're watching this tomorrow, this, this is going to be the old way. You'll have a faster movement speed when you're pulling out your tactical moving around, more in line with every other legend. Another adjustment goes to the Assault and Support class. What's interesting about this change is that the bins now prioritize more of a team-wide experience for optics and making sure that you actually upgrade your optics, as well as the Support bin ensures that you always have a battery or something useful for your team. So, more of a quality of life change rather than a nerf or buff. The L-Star is now in the care package. The L-Star definitely has a buff and is a quick note, Daz from the future, just because I didn't notice this when I was in the test range, but the L-Star also had disruptor rounds as well as a 60% pass-through rate. Now, currently, you'll notice that this is on the ground, but in Season 17, this is going to be in the care package like we showcase. Let's jump back to the footage. Let's take a bit of quick look at his damage. 25 to the body and 35 to the head. So be sure to check it out, grab this, and keep in mind that the RE45 is now ground loot. 